Bantu language. Ooh, good question. Uh, Bantu language is a branch of the Shemitic language. I've heard that come up a bunch of times. I feel like our people are having this issue with, <laughs> which is funny. Um, I'll give you an example. If I have a real $100 bill and a fake $100 bill, and the fake $100 bill looks like the real $100 bill, do I just stop being a $100 bill just because a fake $100 bill looks like the real $100 bill? Or do I continue to be the $100 bill and wait for somebody else to figure it out? I feel like the same thing is happening um, with the language. If somebody stopped you from speaking your language, began speaking your language, and I'm not talking about the fake version of your language, but your language, and then when you woke up, you started speaking some other language that wasn't your language, then you made yourself the counterfeit and you gave them the right to be the real thing. So the Bantu language, as it goes systemically, is not older than the Hebrew language. You have to cross over Canaanite, Phoenician, Sumerian, Syriac, Ugaritic. You have to cross a lot of bridges before you get to the Bantu language. Um, the issue is that, yes, the languages have been confused. You can go back to Genesis, Tower of Babel. The language has been confounded, but there is a base language. Does the Bantu language, like the Hebrew language, carry in it the DNA of creation? That's where people overlook it. So I can do math, I can do science, and I can learn things on a molecular level using the Hebrew language. If the other language that people are beginning to trade the Hebrew language for cannot do that, then it is not the language and the word through which Yah spoke creation to existence. For instance, the scientific name for the one we know, H2O, hydrogen and two oxygen, is water. Mem is spelled with two mems and an aleph. They follow the same combination, right? <laughs> and that is a scientific expression. I've looked at the Bantu language. Bantu language is a, a linguistic variance of the original Hebrew language, but it is not the original Hebrew language. So, I know that's dip, difficult for people, but Bantu does not proceed Hebrew. Hebrew Hebrews were Bantu people, they were a part of the Bantu migration. If you look up your genetics, you'll see Bantu. But I think people are getting frustrated and often confused with linguistics and with learning that they haven't taken out enough time to learn Hebrew to see the perfection in Hebrew and they're jumping from thing to thing. And anytime you get scatterbrained, you go from, oh, it's Paleo Hebrew, which is still Hebrew. And it's, no, it's Bantu. No, it's Proto Cyanic. And I know it's this. Guess what? You didn't learn anything. So all that time, you learn nothing in the process. So for people who feel like Bantu is our original tongue, learn it. Find the Bible in Bantu. But what I believe is it's another way for somebody to control. And it's another way for you to not be able to use the text to get back to an original language. And it keeps us arguing. The Hebrew language allows us to get to answers. It allows us to read a text and say, and this is what it said in the original language and this is how to do it. If the Bantu language does not do that, and if it does not break down the linguistic barriers of being in captivity for 400 years, leave it. 